All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. Now, I have something special installed for this one. That's right, this is my very first Deatomite Strike in Infinite Warfare. Now, I am doing this with the Fallout NV4 with a silencer, quick draw grip, and extended mag. So that gives me 45 bullets. Now, I'm at my favorite map pretty much of all time in every single Call of Duty. There's always been that one map. And this is by far one of those maps. This is Terminal, the Infinite Warfare reimagined version. Now I'm going to be popping in, popping out of videos probably throughout this. Um, so, as we get started, I was planning on going for a deatomizer. Now this was going to be my warm-up round. This is my very first game on uh, today. I was like, okay, let me warm up before I start recording, and I'm going to start a road to a deatomizer strike, and then see, once I get that, see how many I can, in fact, get once I actually get it. So this is just a warm-up round. I wasn't recording, so I had to pull this off my PS4, and I decided, all right, let's just get some practice in. Let's try and go for it. Can't believe I didn't die in that kill, but... This was a mistake, which is surprising, because I've never accidentally gotten a chem strike, you know, nuke, deatomizer strike, anything. I've never gotten it before until today. So this is my very first time ever getting a nuke of any sort in any Call of Duty game. I didn't even get it in Modern, War or, uh, yeah, Modern Warfare 2 when all you had to do was get 25 kills, whether they were gun kills, kill streak kills, or yeah, kill streak kills, or any combination of the two. But in this one, I do pull it off now. As you can see, I am using the phase shift, which I just did. That is my lifeline. That is exactly how I live so long. Now you can see my shot is a little shaky. That's because, again, I'm warming up. This is just a warm-up game to see and, and get my gun and my accuracy a little bit better. Now, I don't want to say I camp a little bit, but I do stay in this section of the map. I do not cross over to the left side of the map at all during this gameplay except for the very end when I'm trying to find a kill. Now, I think I am 15 kills away or so right now, so I'm about 10 kills. I'm using my kill streaks so I still don't think I'm going to be able to get a deatomizer strike, so even though I do get I think one or two kills with my kill streaks, so that does not go towards my gun kill streaks. Can't believe I got that guy. That does not go towards my 25 kills that I need in order to get a deatomizer strike that has to be with this gun and only with this gun so I have my warden in the air I just used my bombardment and I have counter UAV now what's crazy is that this is a team deathmatch you only need 100 kills to win the game and which means that 25 of those kills has to be my gun killing somebody in order to get this deatomizer strike so I was gonna try and use I almost die here Thank God. Again, I'm telling you, phase shift, if you're going for a deatomizer, is probably one of the best things you can use because if you're quick to click that and activate it, it will get you out of some tricky situations. And in this case, that person's vulture was about to destroy me. So luckily I had it and I used it to get the heck out of there because if I would have faced it, I would have lost. So luckily, A, I'm slowly picking up more bullets for this thing. Again, I just picked up a butt ton of bullets right there. I steal that kill and I'm able to kill that thing without the vulture coming to kill me. Thank God, because if that vulture would have come, it would have been very likely that it would have killed me. Now, I spend a lot of my time behind this desk area over here. Now I start branching out a little bit once I can't find kills, but as you can see right now, I believe I have around 16 out of the 30 kills right now that our team has. Um, I should pop up the score here shortly, but at the same time, I'm kind of don't want to. Because I'm kind of scared I'm going to like freak myself out. I don't know how I did not die there. I was for sure about to. Because um, like, I did have his payload out. So I start picking up a lot of these kills. Just distance and me like kind of head glitching a little bit as they come around the corner a lot of times. But I'm like, you know what? Let me just stay in this room. I got to stay in this room. At least this way nobody can sneak up on me. No one can, you know, most likely see me before I see them. So it does help me that this is a corner. No one can spawn here unless I leave. So if I stay there, they will be spawning in the to my left over here near this metal detectors, or they will spawn in the sunglass hut, essentially, this area right there in front of me where I'm looking right now, near the shuttle gate. So as of right now, 
We have plenty of bullets. I'm 170 points off of my warden again. And I have what I think to be about 19 out of the 45 kills. So I have around 50% of the kills or so, just a little bit below. So I'm getting super cautious because my teammates are not all with me so they're going to be spawning on me so i'm kind of curious as to when the next person is going to show up which is why i'm adsing or aiming down sight this whole time because i'm freaking out i have 19 kills right now and zero deaths okay i have 19 out of the 49 kills that we have so i'm like okay you know what if i'm, if I'm going to get more kills i've got to branch out a little bit so i start moving towards the right side and i'm like look i'm scared first of all i'm not going in there because i have a long distance rifle I'm not going to go into a close quarter situation. So I'm like, okay, let me just pre-aim this corridor and see if anybody tries to pop out of it. I believe one guy, you kind of see a shoulder poke a little bit, and I try and kill him. But luckily, un luckily I do miss. But this guy's camping in the back. It looks like he's about to try and snipe me or something. Luckily, I was able to get him. I know I'm saying luckily a lot. Okay, just deal with it. But those guys are in there, so I'm like, okay, let me back up. Let me figure out what's going on and see where these guys are coming from because these guys should be spawning somewhere over here because most of our teammate or the majority of our team is actually away from me. So as precautions, I'm, I'm popping this out. I get it so often. I mean, as of right now, it's already almost a quarter of the way full. You get it so often that it makes no sense not to pop it as soon as you think that you could die. Thank God I killed this dude because he was ready to come and kill me. They were hunting me down. So, as of right now, I think I have five kills left in order to get the automizer, which is kind of scaring me a little bit because I haven't seen anybody except for that one guy who tried to bum rush me a little bit. So, in my head, I'm like, look, I've got to branch out a little bit more. Because as you can see, my guys are killing, are getting most or the majority of the kills that are coming. I do pick off this guy, thank God. Five kills away, that's right. Five kills away. I am 20 and 0 right now. Or at least gun kills. I think I'm like 23 and 0 overall. But again, that includes my kill streaks or my score streaks. Um, so the environment, the warden. But I am essentially five gun kills away from getting my datamizer. And I almost die. Luckily, I was able to click face shift extremely fast so I probably would have missed and I was also able to kill that guy thank god because if I was gonna lose a gunfight that would have been it so luckily we made it through I have four kills left and I will see you in the next kill let's watch and see what happens Alright, so as you can see, I haven't seen any bad guys at all since I killed that guy who almost killed me. So at this point, I'm like, oh crap, am I going to have to leave my spot? So, shaky, shaky shots. Luckily, the last bullet pretty much hits this dude in the freaking head. Jeez. So, that's one kill. I still need three kills, I believe, to, in order to get this deatomizer strike. And no one is around me. At this point, it's like a ghost town. I don't know what's going on. All I know is that I'm getting super paranoid. Any little noise I hear, I like instantly flip around. So I see this dude's feet moving below the uh, the bottom of this airplane. So I'm like, okay, cool. And I kind of bait my bait my teammate a little bit. I gotta I gotta you know I can't die. Okay, I can't die. So I bait my teammate a little bit. Luckily, uh, I do get the kill. Now I'm two kills away at this point. And they luckily just called out that there was somebody in the bookstore, so I get that kill. Click on the counter UAV here in a second. There we go. And I need one more kill. So at this point, my team has 92 kills. Eight, eight more kills to go until this game is over, and I need to be one of those eight. And then I have to have enough time, which is 10 seconds, in order to call this puppy in so I can actually win. So I'm like, okay, I got to start going. So I'm just like, screw it. If I don't try it, got to risk it for the biscuit, you know what I'm saying? So, 95 kills, five more kills, one of those kills has to be it, and there we go. That's my last kill, right there. You get this guy, De boom. Deatomizer strike, De strike, my very first nuke in any game, and we got the nuclear. 
25 gun streak with the Fallout NV4 weapon. Again, attachments. We've got silencer, grip. No, we got silencer, quick draw, and extended mags. And there we are. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is my first ever nuclear, and hopefully not the last. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Mission accomplished. A good day's work.